Bucky, we've got two powerhouses here in the AFC. Seen each other a bunch in the regular season as well as the postseason over the last decade. Ravens, Patriots, looking forward to this one. Yeah, this is always a very, very physical battle. The Baltimore Ravens certainly uh, have a way of making it a very physical and nasty contest. Fight. A little street fight. That's what I want to do. Yeah, well, a little bit of a street fight here. Right, let's jump into the tape here. I know you're going to talk about a very talented tight end for the Patriots. I'm going to talk about a talented tight end. For the Ravens, Dennis Pitta here. You see 61 catches, a couple touchdowns. He started to get rolling here against the Miami Dolphins and a quarterback that is on the same page in Joe Flacco. Look where Joe Flacco's eyes are right from the jump. He knows what's coming. you got a couple linebackers coming off the edge. you got a pass rush that's going to heat you up from Miami, but he knows he's got a winner right away with Dennis Pitta. Ball comes out, hit him in stride, and let him run after the catch against one of the better coverage linebackers in the league. Now you're going to see how they use the illusion of run to get their tight end rolling here. You're going to see Yonda pull. You're going to see two linebackers absolutely take the cheese, Buck, and get sucked up. And you're going to leave nice Dennis play. Pitt in right behind him. And you talk about having some room in a window. How about 22 yards worth of space between him and the safety? I don't know what Cleveland's doing back Sandy. there. They're worried about that speed on the Sandy. outside, apparently. But that is a big old window for your tight end to do some damage. And Dennis Pitt has been able to do that. It's great to see him back healthy. Missed some time with injuries, but he is on the same page as his quarterback. You see right there the numbers. He's uh, He's been excellent this year. Big return for him to come back. He's been the security blanket for Joe Flacco. Has really complimented Steve Smith and Mike Wallace on the outside. But this guy used to be a complimentary player for the New England Pages. He now has to be a focal point. Martellus Bennett. And without Rob Gronkowski, I believe the Pages are going to go to more of a run-heavy look where they actually run the ball with LeGarrette Blunt. But because of that, it allows you to run play action. Here we see the fake. Martellus Bennett is going to sneak down the boundary. Tom Brady has his choice of guys that he can target, but he's going to hit Bennett on this one. Big body tied in, finds a way to take it down inside. I like those kind of plays. But out of spread formations, Martellus Bennett also has the ability to win. Here we see him on a little crossing route. Watch him step and work away from the linebacker. Creates a nice little spot. When you play the Patriots, you have to be able to deal with the crossing routes. Martellus Bennett can do that. He also has a little run after catch dynamic. I like what he brings to the table. He's not Rob Gronkowski, but he certainly is a viable option over the middle field that Tom Brady can lean on. I expect him to be a big factor in this game against the Baltimore Ravens. Give you a little nasty after the catch there, too. Come on, you got to like the physicality and toughness. All right, how about a stat here? What stat do we have for the tight end? So, look, four receiving touchdowns tied for the most on New England in 2016. Just coming over has been a big difference maker. He has to be a bigger factor with Rob Gronkowski out of the lineup. Well, we talked about this being a street fight. This will be a physical, physical football game. I'll tell you what, this Baltimore defensive line is really starting to play at a high level. Uh, Timmy Jernigan is one of the more underrated players in the league right now. But who, who do you like in this game, Buck? I still like the Patriots in this game. This is a, a game where you talk about – Styles make fights. This is a tremendous matchup on both sides, but I'm going to say that Tom Brady finds a way to get his playmakers open. Martellus Bennett would play a role, keeping out Malcolm Mitchell and Julian Edelman. Both guys have had huge weeks the last couple weeks. Well, I don't know what to make of the Ravens' offense because it had been very disappointing, and they kind of exploded against Miami. I don't know if they can duplicate that again this week. I I agree with you. I like the Patriots in, in this game, but I think it's a very, very physical contest, and these always come down to the wire. So looking forward to watching this one.